Hey guys, welcome back to Carnal Dish. Today we're making an insanely delicious spinach, crab, and artichoke dip. Fair warning, do not make this around your mother because you might slap her and then she might knock you out and then you'll come back blaming me and I just don't need those problems. So if you want to know how to make the most delicious spinach and artichoke dip you've ever had in your life, stay tuned. The first thing that we're going to do is blanch our spinach. And you can really cook the spinach any way you want to reduce it down, but I just wanted to show you how to blanch it just in case you've never tried it before. So we're basically adding our spinach to a small pot of boiling salted water. And we're going to let this wilt for about 20 to 30 seconds. It doesn't take that long. And then we're going to shock it. So right next to the pot of boiling water, I have a bowl full of ice water. The ice water is going to do two things. It's going to stop the spinach from cooking and it's going to keep it a nice bright green color. So once you put the spinach in the ice water, you just want to let it sit there for about a minute. Then you're going to take it out and you're just going to squeeze it, like ball it up and just squeeze it like it's a washcloth or something. Get all the water out and then we're just going to give it a rough chop and set it to the side. And now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna start creating the base of this insanely delicious dip. So we're gonna melt our butter over medium heat. Once the butter starts to get nice and foamy, we're gonna add our crushed red pepper flake. This is gonna help infuse the entire dish with a nice amount of heat. On top of that, we're gonna add our chopped up artichokes and give that a toss so that every little piece is coated with that delicious butter. For this recipe, I'm using artichokes that were in a brine, so I prefer those over the ones that are packed in oil because the brine actually lends a really nice flavor and complements the crab meat that we're going to add later. So here I'm adding some salt and pepper. You want to make sure that you season every layer of this dish because we're adding dairy and dairy tends to mute flavors, so make sure you taste as you go. So I'm just gonna give that a toss to make sure that the salt and pepper is nicely incorporated. Personally, I don't want this too garlicky, so I'm only gonna use one clove here, and I'm adding it right now, and I'm just gonna toss that around for about 20 to 30 seconds. You just wanna make sure that the garlic flavor infuses the dish, but you don't want your garlic to burn. So now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of regular basic all-purpose flour and I'm just sprinkling that all over the buttery artichokes. What's gonna happen is we're gonna stir this around just to basically make a roux and we wanna cook the raw flour flavor out because it's really not that good. <laughs> and you wanna make sure that the butter is absorbed by the flour because this is gonna help thicken our dip later when we add our dairy. And we don't want this to be like super runny and watery, so it's really important that you do this step. Make sure that the flour is evenly combined and distributed throughout the artichoke mixture. And we're going to add two cups of cold half and half to this mixture. And you want to make sure that your heat is not too high. We don't want to bring this to a boil too quickly, but we do want a nice steady simmer. So I'm going to add some green onion. So stir that around and make sure that everything is evenly distributed. And I'm doing this over medium heat just to bring it to a nice gentle simmer. I'm adding two of my favorite pantry staples, granulated onion and granulated garlic. If you do not have these two, then I'm judging you. I'm also gonna add some hot paprika. If you don't have hot paprika, you can use sweet, but add a little bit of cayenne just to give it a little extra touch of heat. Stir that around and then I'm gonna add the cream cheese and break that up with the back of my spoon. This will melt pretty easily in the mixture. It's starting to get really hot and it's actually starting to bubble up if you can see and it's starting to thicken, which is good. I mean, that is the whole point of this. <laughs> okay, so now we have to make this really sexy. We're gonna add three fourths of our cheese mixture. So just dump that right in give it a nice gentle stir and as you can see the mixture is now simmering so because we're adding the cheese and we don't want the cheese to break we're going to turn the heat off. Now this mixture is still hot enough to melt this cheese so don't worry about that. 
Now you want to add your lump crab meat and just gently mix that in there so that it's evenly distributed. You want to make sure that when you eat this at the end that every bite has a nice piece of juicy crab in it. Now we're going to add our lemon zest. This is going to give us the lemon flavor but not the acidity of the lemon and it really complements the crab. It's not too overpowering, it's just the perfect amount. So stir that in and as you can see this mixture is continuing to thicken. The cheese is all nice and sexy, oh my god. So now we're going to add the spinach. We're doing this at the last minute because we want to preserve that beautiful bright green color and we're also adding our chopped up fresh Italian flat leaf parsley. So give everything a good mix and because we squeezed the spinach earlier, you know, you may have to just mess around with this mixture until some of the pieces start to unfurl and you're gonna think, okay, this isn't enough spinach, but when we continue stirring, you'll see that it's plenty of spinach. But hey, it's your dip. If you wanna add more, then by all means, add more. So as you continue to stir, you'll see that we have a lot more spinach than you thought. And it's a nice, cheesy, thick texture, and we're almost good to go. We're gonna basically put this in a 500 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, just so that the cheese on top melts, because basically this dip is already done, but we have to make sure that it tastes good. So we're gonna take a chip, get a nice scoop, and give it a taste. And I decided that mine need a little bit more pepper and a little bit more salt. Stir that around, taste it again with another chip. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'd say we're ready to go. So go ahead and transfer your dip to a baking dish that can withstand 500 degree heat without cracking and causing a big mess in the oven. Now we're gonna sprinkle the rest of our cheese on top and just spread it out in an even layer with a spoon and kind of push some of the cheese into the dip so that when you pick it up with either a chip or some crusty garlic bread, you get that nice stringy cheese action. Now I'm just sprinkling some real Parmigiano Reggiano cheese Listen, if you're gonna make this recipe, do it right. Please do not use that BS Parmesan cheese in a canister and don't use the kind that's in the bag either. It's really not that good. Get the, get the real stuff, all right? Get the real stuff and I promise you, you will taste the difference. It's worth it. Oh my God. Look at it, look, I know you wanna dig right into this, but trust me, let it cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. If not, you will seriously burn like five layers of flesh on the inside of your mouth. Once the dip is cooled, grab the nearest chip or a piece of toasted garlic bread, dig in and receive your life. Receive your blessing, okay? This dip is so, I don't even know how to describe it. It is so good, it's creamy. It's cheesy, the crab meat is sweet, the lemon really helps pull everything through. It's got a nice amount of heat. The brininess from the artichokes is not too overwhelming, but it's just perfect. It, everything about this dish is perfect. I honestly cannot find one thing wrong with it. Other than the fact that what you see me eating here, that's all I got to eat because we had company over and they destroyed it. <laughs> but that's what happens when you make good food. So I really hope that you try this recipe. You will not regret it. It's very simple. I will have it posted on my blog. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. She make you wanna lick the plate